Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial of MySQL database administration. Um, we have been discussing uh, about the binary log and previous uh, video I have discussed how we can extract the statement from binary log and to, now we will discuss how we can uh, do the extracting bits on time position and some more things uh, like uh, how we can rewrite the database name, uh, how we can extract based on position and based on database name and disabling binary log for recovery and all that. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and please like this video if, if uh, you like my work. Uh, so if you want to extract the base on time and position, uh, you can extract the partial data from the binary log uh, by specifying the position. Uh, suppose you want to do the point in time recovery and assume, uh, let's say that uh, someone has dropped the table uh, and command was executed around, uh, let's say, 12.18 and the latest available backup is till 12, okay? So now we have 18 minutes of binary logs uh, which we need to uh, restore and so you, you now you have what you have done is that you have restored this uh, 12 uh, am backup and now you need to restore uh, from 12 uh, 01 to 1217 because on 1218 this drop table was executed so if you extract the full log uh, it will also contain the drop table command and it will wipe the, your data uh, drop table command and it will wipe your data again so we have to uh, stop somewhere like at 1217 so uh, the drop table executed at 1218 uh, don't come in our extract log so let's so that's you can do it with the uh, let's say 12 till 12 it all has been restored and we will now start from uh, 12 uh, zero one and this is identified using this uh, start date time and uh, this is the option we have and the second option is the stop time uh, if you don't want to do this this is okay it will just start after this uh, this one because uh, till this time we have another uh, the new uh, log has been created uh, after 12 so only this stop uh, dead time will also work for you so till 12 17 uh, it will store all the binary logs uh, info content into your bin log so this is how you can use this one and next we have is uh, extracting like uh, based on the database like uh, say uh, we can do that using this uh, dash dash database option you can filter event uh, of specific database like if you want to extract data for only for db1 and you don't want to do it for db2 then what you will do is that uh, you can provide uh, the dash dash database name only like let's say i want to do it only for employees not for my other databases so you can do it like this so this works uh, very well for row, row based replication uh, but for statement based replication and mixed mode, uh, this gives output only when the default database is selected. So when, uh, what I mean is you have to select like uh, I say use employees like that, okay. So it would only work because uh, uh, inside this binary log, uh, you should have this use employees uh, statement. So if this is not there, uh, it won't work, okay. So that's why it's uh, uh, might not work for mixed mode and uh, statement based. <coughs> okay uh, sorry Ruby. so next we have is uh, rewriting the database name let's say uh, our production we have this uh, employees uh, this employees or production and when I want to restore my binary log I want this to be like I want this to restore inside my test environment and I want it to give it to name is employees dev so when uh, you are extracting the extracting your logs what you will do is just like we have here is dash dash database inside this mysql bin log command what you can do is you provide an option is called uh, rewrite db and then you will say that i want these employees to be employees dev so it will replace all everything inside your uh, this uh, file and then you can apply this file on your server okay so next we have here is uh, disabling the binary log uh, let's say uh, you want to apply uh, this binary log uh, on your uh, what do you say uh, server mysql server uh, where you want to do the restore so you you don't want to uh, that uh, test instance to be creating uh, binary log I mean I don't you do not want when you apply this because these will be all the SQL statements so you don't want these SQL statements to create uh, to write inside into your binary log uh, to avoid this uh, file synchronization and uh, desynchronization uh, and uh, to avoid the 
to get some better performance while doing the restore so what you can do is uh, you can uh, use this uh, option it's called disable log option so that binary log won't be written and you can do it like this uh, you want to do is start position here and stop position here uh, and uh, you then you provide that uh, disable dash login dash bin and uh, it it will uh, write into your it what you is gonna do is uh, it's right it will set at the session level that uh, i'm not going to write anything into binary log so then we have this uh, dis uh, like displaying the events in a binary log you do not really need to write uh, to the whole database like uh, you do not need to read the whole uh, just a minute let me show you and then you can see what i'm talking about you see here this is all the event uh, like update query was executed like this uh, in the session 22 and then we have uh, insertion as well and uh, so we did some uh, uh, insertion as well so this is how the events are shown to you uh, if you don't want to read the whole uh, binary log file just like we did here so you can read only this uh, events from your uh, sql command prompt so that's it guys for today uh, this is all we have discussed and furthermore we will also do some more discussion as well uh, i think this is getting longer that's why we will uh, leave the other part to the other tutorial thank you so much guys for watching this uh, tutorial and please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you so much